After dealing with spring floods earlier this year, folks on the Mississippi River are now facing a different kind of problem. In this morning's Ag Round America report, Tommy Stafford shows us how low river levels are impacting traffic on the Mississippi. Normally, this area of the Mississippi would be full of water from bank to bank, but the recent lack of rainfall is causing sandbars along the channel to surface, a problem that's causing the Corps of Engineers to begin dredging operations. The main channel of the river fills up with sand, silt, logs, uh, just all kinds of uh, debris, and we have to dredge the channel unless to maintain a nine-foot channel for the, for the board lines. But by no means are these record low levels. In 1981, the river fell to a minus 6.6 .6 on the Memphis gauge, creating all kinds of traffic problems. But even moderately low levels can affect those using the river for transportation. Low water levels on the river not only make it harder to get around, it costs money too. When the river's low, you can't load your barges as heavy. If they'll hang up. If you've got a one corner that's loaded too deep, they won't pick it up because they're afraid they're going to hang. Uh, when you've got 35 barges in a tow, you don't want anything to hang. Under normal conditions, you could load a 14-foot hull barge with grain to where it sets about 12 feet below the water's surface. That's about 80,000 bushels of grain. With a low river, that figure drops to about 10 feet, or 66,000 bushels of grain. Not good for the granaries, but good for folks like Harold Smith, who runs a harbor service. And of course, the shallower it gets, the it gets. And uh, they just get on the ground. You know, water gets shallower, get on the ground. And when they do, we have to help them, off, help them out. In southeast Missouri, Tommy Stafford reporting for Ag Day. Tomorrow on Ag Ground America, find out.